the floor move? Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Asps. Very dangerous. You go first.
think Lego has knocked it out of the park, to be honest with this. I think it looks so good. I can't remember if they've actually done Indiana Jones before. I feel like they did a very old set. But I had something very similar uh, with a biplane. And it had two figures in it. And I think it had a car as well. But I don't think that was Indiana Jones. I think it was an Explorer. Um, so the other set adjacent to this one is the Last Crusade one with Henry Jones Sr. and Indiana Jones and the, the fighter which Wings comes off in the tunnel. I was torn between that one and this one. I opted for this one because this is just so awesome plus the minifigures in here. Uh, for an Indiana Jones set, I think uh, pretty, in, pretty insane. So let us bring up the level. figures which I was drawn to this set immediately was Marion and Indiana Jones. I thought if you're gonna start off with the Lego Indiana Jones then it's gotta be those two really. And then Sulla I thought was a brilliant uh, figure to have as well as part of the collection. And then it includes a mummy there too. And there's, there was loads of mummies in that scene so I assume there's gonna be an intricate pop out uh, thing there as well. But the thing that I love so much on this box is the whole arc scene, like the progress where they're carrying the arc through and try and get it out. Uh, well, it gets lifted out, but they try to get in and then you've got all the mummies around the back there and they do like a, an escape thing. And how they get out of the temple is replicated in this particular set. So it looks freaking awesome. I think we've admired it long enough, and I'm just going to show, show you on the top the Indiana, Indiana Jones and Sala coming out of there. Looks so good. I needed a Lego Holy Grail, 100%. So this looks like a freaking awesome set. I love that they've started making Indiana Jones sets for, Le for Lego, so let's hope they keep it up. But what we're here for is the building part and falling asleep part and feeling good part so that is what we're gonna do plates there. Couldn't even fit in the bag, that too big. <laughs> That's a good sign. A lot of stickers, which are never great for Fred's clumsy fingers, shall we say. And then a ginormous booklet here, and that looks, it all looks so good. Honestly, it's just, it all looks fresh, but almost like something I missed when I was a child. I don't know why. I'm very excited to build this one. I didn't realise there was going to be so much in here. I don't think this was crazy expensive. I thought this was £49 or 60 um, It could be less, I'm not sure. But this seems to look like it's more of a £80 build if you take in consideration some of the Star Wars ships and things. Around that price you get about this many bags as well. Uh, so you get lots of building fun, so this looks like what I thought was probably going to be an hour. Depends how I edit it, of course. Um, I think it's going to be quite a nice, relaxing build to fall asleep to. Let's try to keep it that way anyway. So thank you, Box, you look awesome. This is 
very exciting for me. But I think more so because they are large pieces in there. Also, I wanted to make this Lego builder like slightly fresher. And uh, all the Lego builds, like obviously they're all different, um, but try with a different angle from this point of view, so you actually feel like you're in it, sort of thing. If that comes across, then <laughs> hopefully it does. Um, but we'll see, I suppose. Okay, let's get this monster thing. I think we've got all these Lego parts. I think we've got a solar here, so why don't we just pop him together first? Because he looks like he's going to be pretty awesome. So we're going to look for your head in here. So, there we go. And you will think it's a turban. Does he wear a turban? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Maybe that's not even meant to go in his head. Though I'm pretty sure it does. We'll make it fit. <laughs> I think you are meant to go on there, Sulla. Don't... Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's pointy stick time. The fact that he's got really nice detailed torso on the back there as well. Very accurate to the film in Lego form. He looks so cool and very amazing. A British man. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, that. Whatever he sings. So this bottom bit, obviously, is the base plate that we're working on first. So I hope there's going to be plenty of sleepy moments in there here for you and to you. For you to relax too and enjoy. And now we can begin building this epic piece. those sets which I wanted when I was younger. It's the whole Explorer vibes. I really love those for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just they looked really cool with the with the cowboy hats and what Explorer caps. And the biplane I had, I loved it so much. I remember trying to make a miscellaneous sort of biplane uh, out of just the random pieces which I had. So it was more of a multicolored biplane but I think I remember managing to get pretty close and I was pretty proud of myself that I had two planes uh, it's weird what you remember with Lego Lego always makes you remember these completely random things <laughs> but the problem is the wingspan I remember them being really flimsy so if you move it around loads then the wings would invariably fall off, so you couldn't do too much acrobatics. The actual Explorer set from Lego was fine, but it was my homemade version, fighter pilot, uh, where it was the bad guys. Um, it didn't hold up so well, so to speak. So that was uh, quite traumatic every time that fell to pieces. Yeah. One of these sets, I think, we I can't remember, did we do? I think we did. The, the Lego set uh, where it's Ben Kenobi's hut. I think we did that. I feel like we've done a lot of Lego sets. I can't actually even remember anymore. And that set was kind of like this. One of the things with Lego I'd like is the, the whole uniform look and things which are symmetrical. It just satisfies me in a way. And I find that really sort of addictive when I'm, I'm building the Lego sets. It's just something which I really enjoy about that, especially like at the moment with big sets, like just even the clicking and fiddling around, I get, yeah. When I edit it, I sometimes surprise myself because I, it's more of a recent thing. Like I've been getting surprise triggers and I've never, like years ago, I was never able to do that, not even get a, anything close, but now, just completely random things. I get it, uh, which I'll never complain about <laughs> because for me it just makes it even more relaxing um, and enjoyable. Okay, we want beige. We want you there. So I 
think this is part of the mechanism where the big old uh, I've got what the name is, not the Sphinx, um, whatever that thing is that he kicks over to break the wall to escape. And I think this has something to do with that because there seems to be something like a mechanism that looks like it's been formed at this precise moment. So, I have been known to make mistakes from time to time. Okay, well at the end we want this. Uh, but 
going back to the intro, one of the things, the uh, reason why I was doing the intro, I stumbled upon, upon like this, it's sort of architectural uh, plans almost for building your own Lego sets, like the Photoshop of, of Lego building or something along those lines. And you can make or design all your Lego bits and that got me wondering, thinking, like, that's probably where they start, but I still just don't get how you get so far into a build that you think, I'm gonna place this in here, and then later on, that's gonna have that effect in there, and do this, but it's it's buried in there, and probably no, you will never see it, but it's in there. I think, at what point do you, do you think that up? Like, it baffles me, I don't know why. That's why I always love Lego, I just think it, is actually very clever at how it utilizes very simple techniques and methods. Shh, that probably came up really loud. Um, yeah, to make uh, these awesome things. For example, the thread. We want the small one there. That's better. There's a lot of sort of beige things happening. Yeah, at the moment. So I assume these are like rooms or base plates for different sections. That's a little bit tricky to actually put down. I always thought about as well. Like, I'll say that again. <laughs> always thought about when you build a Lego set, actually having some sort of adhesive so it never falls apart. And I know that's frowned upon with Lego, like that shouldn't be the case, but when they do their big uh, shop builds or something like their massive display, where they may be, you know, when you go to a place and then you just see a massive Lego Luke Skywalker or Yoda or something along those lines or anything really. And the way they do it, they I think they have to glue it um, in place obviously so it doesn't move or come apart or anything like that even though it's frowned upon but you know that your lego is safe and secure and that's kind of something which i'd be interested in doing as well because the last thing i'd want like I, on my desk i have the x-wing lego x-wing that we did ages ago and the custom tie fighter together and so many times i've moved them around or moved something and it's nudged them and they sort of wobble a bit and I'm like, that could have been a, a, closer, a lot worse uh, than it uh, should have been. So that's why I've always considered, should I uh, perhaps think about gluing them? So I never run into that problem because I think for me that would probably feel a little bit uh, heartbreaking almost if there was something to uh, go wrong. These completely random bits. It's not just using the brick, it's just this tiniest bit of detail which you probably wouldn't see, but it's just like these white bits underneath there. Like, who's gonna notice that? Is that just. I, I wanna know, I wanna know the design reasons. That's just it. <laughs> you can't know everything for it. Or can I? The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities, some considered to be. Unnatural. Yeah, you can sort of rest assured when you when you enter one of my videos, it tends to turn into just being a nerd all, all the time. That's these are the bits which I always like the uh, nice smooth parts. It looks very nice. So I feel like this is where the arc stands. I could be wrong, but just a little inkling 
is where I think that middle bit, what I think that middle bit is for. And then on the side here, there are these four bits for perhaps maybe someone to stand on whilst they lift up the arc. So we'll come back to that one, but I feel like that could be something which could be a thing. See, this intricate detail in there, and it's gone out of view forever. Yeah, so I feel like you walk up to the to the arc here. Yeah. We'll see about that one, Fred. Okay. So we've got a thing to make. Yeah, so there's already a mechanism here. Surely this isn't the arc. I don't believe it. Okay, and on top. gears and stuff on these things. Come on Fred, <laughs> you're literally just looking at what you want to, seeing what you want to see and doing what you want to do. Okay, so going through there, that will go through there. Okay, I'm going to leave you there. Now we need a blue piece, a beige piece on there. And one of the things, whilst the manual is on this side we will turn it around so we don't neglect your right ear as well we will switch it around just so we're nice and fair okay so i think that's it whatever the hell that is and then on the back we need some smooth bits sits there. <laughs> okay. This is what we want. And we have our mechanism. It is safe to put one bit in there, but I think I've uh, misplaced that. <laughs> that's one of the statues that falls over, maybe. 
I th I'm quite confident of this because you could move it around there. But it's a, a set that already looks like it does stuff, which looks pretty cool. Okay, so the other piece we need. Number four bit. They got me slightly worried that there wasn't one. Then two light grey bits. So we sort of build together, which I think is really cool. And it's kind of a very sort of relaxing thing to do. Sort of building with someone at the same time. I think with uh, with perhaps when you watch, because I, I watch like Lego reviews and things and sets all the time. There's a snake that goes in there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I love that. A tiny snake. I don't think I've ever had a snake before. Um, I watch Lego reviews quite often and to build alongside someone it's always like a rush build or something like that but with I think with an ASMR you can kind of have that opportunity to like relax this is not going to be a crazy rush because of the, the nature of ASMR obviously so you actually can buy the set and um, and build at the same time together so we are effectively building together, which I would think is, uh, that's pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Okay, and then we have the U that goes up there at the top. Okay. And then we have some flames, right. So this is the flames which Indy has a chuck down so he can make it to the, to the arc. I watched well, one of the things which you might have seen on my Instagram, I'm not sure, but uh, I've been in hos hospital. My wife uh, gave birth, birth to our second child, and uh, I had about 30, 36 hours where I didn't fall asleep, and I just turned into this weird zombie thing. And I think it was about midnight, I managed to acquire a takeaway. And I sat down there, everyone was asleep, and, and I just had this uh, takeaway. <laughs> and I put an Indiana Jones on my headphones, and it was just, because I was so tired and so hungry, it was just like this amazing experience of being in the film. Like I sort of watched it with, in a different aspect, and it was really fresh, so when I saw this set, I was like, yep, yeah, get it. <laughs> it enjoy it have fun so this is the base plate of bag number one so you kind of see already like the statue's going to be here one flips back this one here you have to walk up to the to the arc which is pretty awesome there as well i'd say we maybe we'll move it over
and the pillars begin to go in. One pillar shows it. Okay, and one of the, I think I remember those sorts of pieces from from this imaginary Ben Kenobi uh, one, the Tatooine one, which I think we might have or might not have done. It's so strange. I can't actually remember if we did that or not. Maybe you watched it just a second ago, and uh, yeah, it's very obvious to you. But one, one of the things which I've always been like, when I make videos, I just, I, like, I can't really watch myself. Like, editing is enough of, of watching myself. Um, I'm, I'm more in the sort of creating uh, process, I like, I like being creative in that respect. But then when it comes to actually watching myself, uh, I find that a little bit difficult, really. I don't know why. It's a strange thing. Then there's a detailing bit here. So at the moment we've got a complete yeah, mess, but the cool bits. I noticed like such random things, but this, have I ever had a set where it's had the arch in it? I don't think so. This is totally something which I had when I was uh, younger. These sorts of bits, and I used to make the castles out of them, which are really I used to love the Lego castle so much. And if that's something that people like, then you have to let me know. For all of the sets, you've got to let me know what you what you like to see because there's so many. Every time I walk in the Lego shop and I'm like, gosh, I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. Like, And that's very like the Lego city, which I think is really cool. And the boats. I love the boats. I love the pirate ships. I love the custom mock pirate ships for Pirates of the Caribbean, ships of the line and things. There's so many awesome Lego creations that people have made. And it's always invariably me, it's invariably me leaning towards Star Wars because I love it so much and that's the thing which I, I love building and relaxing to. But there are many, many <laughs> other sets uh, which Lego that do so well, like Lord of the Rings looks freaking awesome, and I love that as well. And that's something I'd like to do. Maybe they have smaller sets, I don't think I'd get away with the Rivendell set. The only thing that has stopped me from still not doing the Millennium Falcon, there was many opportunities to do so, but it's space. And my filming uh, process, like I don't have enough time in between videos to keep a permanent setup, like for a week. Um, because I'll be filming something else and the whole studio needs turning around and setting up for something else. So to have the Falcon there being built over, I don't know, a seven day process wouldn't um, be somewhat conducive for me uh, for filming other videos as well. It's always a, once something's filmed, like you edit it, check it, and then um, you can't change. The studio, once the studio's changed, you'll never really be able to go back to it perfectly how it was previously so doing the lego thing it has to be there like for for a long period of time and nothing can be changed or moved whoops come fred okay. so i assume we're just focusing on this section here at the moment so let's get those smooth bits I feel like that I've just probably talked quite a lot during this bit, but I always find with Lego there's, there's lots to talk about in it, I think because it's one of the things like ASMR, there's a lot of things I try to do which I'm passionate about, and I think it's always good to, to, if you've got something you're actually passionate about and you're able to turn it into something which is relaxing, then that's what I always love seeing people who are passionate about something, anything. And um, I feel like I, I have the same sort of thing with Lego. It's something which, if, you've, if you used to play with it, if you used to imagine it all the time when you were a kid, then you sort of understand it in a way. You know, and, and you understand the people who enjoy it as well, if that makes sense. I would put you to the side. We're making this uh, very interesting colored green, mint green pieces, which 
I don't think I've ever used before. some smooth bits from here and today all right so these weird bits okay so hopefully this angle is helping you see uh, a lot more is that i don't think that's the one so you've got two of those which goes on top and then a smooth one but where is it right that smooth one goes there on top, that goes on the top there, and this one. Oh, because it's an uh, upside down version. <laughs> is if I follow the instructions then I'm quietly confident then um, I'd be confident what I've just put together here but I've looked at everything but the instructions in chronological order but I think that I think that's right could be wrong but I think it's okay okay so this sits on behind somehow it sits on behind okay and uh, I did the same on this side as well, so you're meant to go up top there. We need a single piece there. There we go. Just a minor difference there. And then you do sit here for you to swing around or whatever you do. If you can just slot in there. There we go. Perfect. So it sort of does something. <laughs> Not sure what, but it does something. strange thing that's going on here which I literally have no idea uh, what it's meant to be I'm very interested to see what it will become I need one of those right there detail that's what we like one of 
things with, with Legos, uh, all Lego sets really, as it progresses throughout the years. It's weird how it happens, but you look back in your mind's eye when you think of your old sets, you think of them being pretty accurate and uh, true to, to what it's actually representing. But then when you look at it, you think, oh gosh, that's <laughs> how wrong was I? That's really plain. Like one of the ones was the Gungan um, water ship. I forgot the name of it. And that in my head, it was really accurate. But then when I saw it, uh, you know, look back on that and said, I remember building it. That's one set which I remember so clearly building. It's just always stuck with me for some reason. And to me, that was ultra realistic. It was straight out the films. And I remember playing with OB and Qui Gon and Jar Jar and swimming through with this massive thing. I was like, it was the best thing ever for me. And then looking at that set, and it's like, now it's like, gosh, that's a very uh, basic interpretation. <laughs> and, but when they first came out, that's, that's what it was like. It was awesome and felt realistic and everything. But I wonder how far or how much further down, we're getting a bit philosophical, um, but how much further down the line uh, will Lego, like this set, it will no longer feel like or look like it it was something which was something's going on here we've got this <laughs> um what have we got here we need a square a four piece it's not that a flat piece that i just picked up there we go yeah and how long until Yeah, this set looks like it's going to be one of the most basic sets, uh, which I hope that never really happens because I think a lot of the Lego sets now they're they're very realistic and they're really nicely detailed, like the USC Y wing with all of those tiny bits in the engine, which look freaking amazing. It's the same with the Falcon. There's a lot of detail on detailing on there with the top of the ship and. It looks like you can't really add more to it, but every USC or big Falcon, Millennium Falcon set that I've made, it somehow always is improved. So what is there to improve? Like how can you just keep improving it to the point it still looks like Lego, but um, looks more realistic? That's one of the, that's just how my brain works. <laughs> one of the strange things that Fred thinks about for some reason, I don't know if anyone else thinks of things like that, but, some reason I do. Okay, let's pop you in. One thing that I I know for sure is that my children are gonna acquire someday I'm going to show them all of the sets and I hope to film all that as well and turn that into something but I will show them all and if they show I won't I won't force Lego upon them I'll see I'll take them in the Lego shop and see if they like it and get interested in it somehow and then once they have like these certain sets or if they they wanted anything and and if I got them a set or two, then I say, well, hold my beer and come with me. And I will show them all the sets. I've got all my sets when I was a child as well. And now these newer ones, which we've done, like, I think probably like three, four years ago. Can't be five, surely. Like when we did the X-Wing. But show them all those sets and they're like intact in nice boxes. Um, yeah, I think that's where I'll be like, yeah, have fun and play and have that experience which I had when I was younger. And that's what I'm kind of hoping that those sets, if they keep being redone and made look even more realistic, then I hope it's something which those sets would still look really awesome and new and cool and something that I want to play with. So it's sort of, it's not a refreshing uh, like it doesn't replace a set it just adds it on it expands I have that sort of feeling um, to the 
new sets that would be around during that time for them. Okay. So let's put you in there. Now we have a single one across here. And now are you apparently, although not just yet, but we need you to go to yes, I've gone ahead of myself already for some reason. Don't know why I do that. But uh, I still keep doing it for some reason. <laughs> this one bit which just a single piece there we go then you slot in there and if we put you front one there, pop you in there and then it's so random how it comes together but <laughs> there it is it works and you sit on like that but you move open like that I see if you put it away, then it falls the pride. So we've got a trapdoor of some sort. Let's pop you on there. But let's not break you, though. Maybe it's just me, but personally, stickers aren't as good as um, just having an actual printed part of the brick itself. Okay, let's do that. Uh, which when I used to build it when I was younger I always made everything very symmetrical and make sure you get in the right place and uh, is that two of those or one and I used to make sure that Everything like if I was doing pillars, they'd be identical on the other side. Just always look better. And every sort of brick that I made like a wall, it would be like I wouldn't miss a bit. Whereas you get the impression like with these sets, there's always like we feel like you could have just stacked and made a brick wall there, been more secure and uh, looked more awesome. But obviously, it's not that. It's sort of representation like I get that but I would just built that the whole of the brick wall and gone from one side to the other and then I suppose that's a very plain way of doing it um, a very novice way so to speak but yeah personally that's what I would do but I like all the little bits of detailing like here So, Fred, let's examine what you've made here. We could all learn from Fred's mistakes here. Okay, now you go on the top there. That makes more sense to me. And then on the top we have this bit. It's not
completely vanish. Then I'll put it, I'll put it on there already. And then we have on the top, we have another sticker. Great. Well, someone needs to eat some food. So we've got some details, we've got smooth bits, smooth bits, and a tiny smooth bit. Where are you? There you are. It's looking pretty awesome. I mean, from this point of view, it looks great. When this is together, then it's gonna look freaking amazing. I know it. Okay, we've got some more black pillars which go up the back here. Okay. And then this very, very satisfying and perfect uh, long bit. That's me good. That's good. So now all the little tiny bits of detail in there. I think that's amazing. That's awesome. Okay, now we have a long one. Which fits on there. A small one. Which goes on the back there. And then another mechanism. Some more brick wall. Yeah, I'm loving this. And then this on the top. Brick wall. Or sandstone wall, shall we say. I think this is always an opportunity for me to be a complete nerd all the time. Probably random, but does anybody have an interest in Warhammer because that is another thing which I had when I was younger and Games Workshop one of my sort of wishes and one of my dreams to do is to create a Helmsteep uh, size keep which is in the same scale as the Warhammer figures that just as Lego most obsessed with that with all the Orkai pikes and everything I know you can sort of interpret that and do versions of that in the Lego which would be pretty amazing but I would there is a part of me which I would just love so much to to build that and I think that might eventually be a hobby of mine I love models and things probably why I love Lego so much but like it's something which miniature scales I just think just fascinate me don't know why it just does and uh, Helm's Deep is something which is uh, would be freaking awesome and amazing to make I think it's not so much the playing of Warhammer and things it's more so the building it and setting it up making it look awesome and then just enjoying it enjoying it visually uh, I'd find that very sat satisfying and therapeutic Whereas younger, when I was younger, I'd probably play with it and move it around, but I just, I can't understand, like, what you'd think about, um, to 
this will make it all come alive, come to life, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We've done the snake, we've done that bit, that's pretty level. Looking good. Okay, now we have a lot of blue detailing on the top. Okay, we've got three. Got a long piece. Yeah. You fit in there. Then we have a single blue bit here. Oh my. Oh, I thought we was making the grill, but it's... It's not. It's uh, it was trickery. We're making the tomb, a coffin for the mummy. Okay. It's weird how you just make it all of a sudden and automatically looks. a little bit to one side but still right yeah that's awesome so they go either side section I hope that gets filled up because you're just completely random there but oh my goodness there's a mummy is what Fred the Explorer would say now there's a snake which goes in the snake pit and uh, the rattlesnake and it fits in loosely here for some reason you can literally just put him in there and that, that's it that's still around the right way. It means this should be. Like this and the snake sits in it. Oh I see. Right, I get you. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So you got your uh, let's put Sala there, maybe. Okay, he hates asps. <laughs> Oh, very dangerous. Okay, and then we just do this. And then there's a snake, rattlesnake, or not asp. That's good, but it just sits there loosely, strangely enough. So, you know. And now we're on back number three. So, we're getting through that. That's so cool though. I love that. It looks so good. Always concerning that there's smaller pieces there. Quite a lot of them too.
There it is. Let's see this. I think this is the first fedora hat. The first fedora hat which I've ever had. That's so cool. I love that. We'll get onto that in a sec. Dear goodness, there's a lot of small pieces. Okay, Indy, it's time to put you together. Where do your hat last, I think? So, torso. I don't know why. I have a full Indiana Jones uh, costume. I don't know why I didn't put it on and do this. That would have been way more appropriate, I'd say. <laughs> why didn't I do that, Fred? Come on. You're exactly the kind of person who would do that. Okay, maybe uh, I should have rectified that. <laughs> his face which is a very nice idea but I think that's just freaking awesome I love that so much Indiana Indiana let it go perfect Indiana Jones you look uh, pretty amazing or Lego Indiana Jones <laughs> oh, that looks so good can't believe that let's uh, move your hand the other way shall we can we put you through there no, I think we're going to have to take that off. We've got to make him perfect. So put him through the arm, over the top, there, there. Fedora, back on, like so. Like, being the nerd that I am, I think it's Herbert Johnson who make the Indiana Jones hats and always have, and I've been very tempted to try and acquire one for myself as well. Right. Now this, I don't know why I didn't spot it already. These gold pieces are very, very interesting pieces. That's because we're on the Ark. Sometimes it always makes certain bits look with a slightly different color, even though it's not, like there's a different shade. Um, okay, now we have a smooth piece on top. I don't think you'd be in there, I think you'd be here. Yeah, so you look like you're meant to be orange, but uh, you are in fact gold. And then on the top here. Looks so good. So cool. In my head, all I can hear is the music. You all know the theme. Like, every, all day, I'm listening to soundtrack music. This is a strong contender for me. Okay, this requires precision. And it's what it got. Very surprising. It would have been awesome if the arc was actually printed. I think that's what a future set would be, would it, if it would include the Indiana Jones arc, but I think a purely printed Lost Ark um, would be pretty amazing for this set. Okay. I 
doing something that would very much complement uh, my videos all the time. I spent my life uh, listening to soundtrack mu music, but obviously you can't play it on your videos. Um, but I'd know exactly what cue, what bit to put where, and you know, subtle things. But it's all sort of projects which I can work on myself, but never ever get seen. Sometimes I sort of flex editing, uh, sort of flex editing skills, and create certain scenes and. Well, I mean, as Lego, that's that's awesome. The arc, and um, yeah, it creates sort of alternate things, scenes and stuff. And music is exceptionally powerful and provoking. And uh, yeah, I could make some pretty cool scenes here with this, with uh, some great music there as well. Okay, the arc. It's there. It's part of it. Yeah. Pieces here, you should have two of them. There's one, there's two, and then I think that's it's not. you are, what you're meant to be, but uh, you certainly look like a thing. Okay, then we have two smooth bits. One here, one here. Whatever it is, it looks pretty great. And then we have two edges, small ones. One 
Yes, 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 yes. That is what I love so much about Lego. Because this is true to... Oh, I've got that sideways. This is true to what it is in the film. Carved in on on the stone. And the fact that they've done that with the Lego as well. <laughs> That's why I love Lego. It's like the inside joke. That's brilliant. That's so good. Let's put you on down there. I'm very impressed. Not very, very impressed. That looks so cool. Okay. And then we have on the other side. I'm not so R2D2. Okay. So I couldn't even escape the uh the Star Wars Lego sets because the Star Wars Lego sets found me. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a sign. Okay, let's put you on there. Yeah, I do like all the detailing. It does look very nice and satisfying. Right. No, we're making progress. I think we're going to make two of these. Well, we will have to make two of these. Okay. One. Two. And on the other side. side. You should all be in the same place really, but you're not for some reason. You need four of those. So where are the other two, if not exceptionally well, hidden at the moment? And then we have long piece. See it already. Looks pretty good. Okay, then on the top. And then on the outside, we have the two of these. One and two. Okay, and then we have a long one. Thank you. 
every time with the spit it kind of looks like you know what it is like I thought that was the legs and then it changes and doesn't look like the legs anymore but it's, uh, yeah, it's always very intriguing to know how it's going to end up looking like how are you going to turn from this one now a Lego but they do it every time shaping up to be a pretty cool way that sort of goes together with this torso okay finding a black piece on a black table always proves to be somewhat challenging Pieces. I've 
personally reached that point where I'm just this has made me so relaxed just doing this <laughs> it's a weird thing like Lego always manages to do it I don't know how but you completely zone out just feel like a bit of a zombie at the moment just really satisfying <laughs> which is perfect when you want to go to sleep I suppose it's it's doing its job okay that's lying down sideways with a single piece you start doing stickers you really get the hang of it oh no god that's literally the worst one I've ever done <laughs> this just wasn't even on it okay let's put you in there that's a bit better that's what we want okay give us the long piece and you go so good. <laughs> I really do like that. Okay, now you turn it around, it's meant to have one on the bottom there, and then one on the top there as well. So those two are together, and then we're doing this head with a smooth bit there. A smooth bit over you go there and then you fit on the top it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's pretty good yep there's a lot of um, pieces more so than uh, one would have expected probably because I'm meant to make two of those arms so maybe we'll go back and see a number two times two on there. Yeah, so there's, there's no times two, it's just, so I was right, is that considered a mistake by Lego? Doesn't say the overall arm thing is times two. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Make sure that this 
is going to be the, the right way. Because it is just saying make it identical, but of course one wouldn't. That's the way you need to be. The opposite. Or perhaps yeah, I should just uh, follow the identical instructions on the other side. Don't know how I managed to miss that, but uh, we got there in the end myself. So. <laughs> One might think in that Lego I've made a mistake. It's the problem is if the, if you don't find something for me, it's always so easy to think right, got them, they finally uh, made a mistake, and uh, <laughs> it's never the case. You are always wrong, always, unless there's a set where. That wasn't the case, but for me, um, yeah. Okay, so on the bottom there, you can just come off. We we'll slot you in there. Awesome. Looks freaking amazing. Love that so much. And now, you, my friend, sit on. This set's great. It looks so good. We need Indian everyone on there as well. Preferably would have liked a, a lot more snakes, uh, but maybe there's more to come. Right. So considering this one is going to be the final bag, and we're literally making exactly the same. I swear they used to be together and uh, all together and then just make them like that for long but uh, now that Mary can have a, a scared face I'd say she doesn't like the snakes and uh, she does a lot of shouting so I think that's uh, fishing in the, the torches are going out
you will uh, we'll just add something on top there as well I don't know perhaps uh, this piece here and, uh, steady steady there we go and this with the uh, where we're meant to be building two of these fellows here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing a bag, I don't know. I don't think this has got all of the pieces in there though. on here is very interpretive I suppose if you were to make it it would be a lot more uniform like all the sections would be like very solid like I'd say like that you'd build a whole wall around there that's why I would have loved a set like that where it's literally you know three walls and then you walk up into it with the pillars I think that's where the difference what I, I'd want from Lego now is more so the UC UCR UCS uh, sets and something that looks realistic like the Emperor's Throne Room which I've been wanting to get for ages but I thought maybe I shouldn't uh, maybe I should just have a little bit of uh, something different perhaps uh, for a little while um, and uh, yeah build something with a different theme but that set looks freaking amazing it looks so good and the temptation to get that has been exceptionally um, high <laughs> because I think that's the realism that I'd love, which I would have loved as a kid. Um, anyway, I probably would have gone nuts if I had that when I was younger. Right, turn you over. I've no idea what we're making. There's some intricate thing which is happening. I thought we was making another one of these boys. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. You there, and you go through here via this rubbery thing. Okay, and then on the top, you go like so, and detailing on the top. should be another one of you which of course oh there it is okay and then we have is that blue detailing oh, i don't know by the colors <laughs> okay you go on top and then a corner if it is then yeah it's a blue one okay right now these are the big pieces that are like easy pieces honestly when you get the big sections in lego it's a Satisfying moment for sure. Okay. So we have to turn this round on the back for some reason. Okay. Like so. And then this apparently. Something, yeah, I think that just about gets on there without breaking it. Come on. <laughs> that could have gone a lot better. It's so ready to fall apart there. Can you go on? Yes, there we go. I think, right. Perfect. 
I get what's happening now. So that falls down, they escape. Yeah, right, I gotcha. That becomes a platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're getting this now. There's so many cool things with that set. This set. It's uh, pretty awesome. Once I've got it around, we have six of these uprights. So I assume there are six snakes about to go in there as well. Why did it have to be snakes? There seems to be quite a lot of snakes as well, so it's pretty realistic. Let's put you going up a little bit, if we can. There we go. And then, oh, hideaway snake. The one that jumps everyone's meant to be in there as well. You gotta go in. Oh, you gotta go in. I don't know. <laughs> Goodness. There we go. Let's put you at the top there. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. And now it is time to go back and build the other statue. Okay, now it all makes perfect sense. I think there should be enough there. Honestly, it kind of looks so great when, when Indiana and everyone is in there. <laughs> I don't know how they managed to make it look so realistic to the film though. When you put it together you think, what the hell, like how is this anything? We're gonna look and think like it, but it does, like, you persevere. But it baffles me, because it looks really good. <laughs> like, this is a really cool set. There's a lot of, if you had, like, I always think, if you were a kid, would you want this? How would you play with it? And, uh, would this be something you'd be dying to get? And I think, for me, perhaps, I would have very much enjoyed this as a child. Okay, let's uh, put that in the right place, shall we? I think the cause of my uh, happy little mistakes is because I'm regaling a story about something. <laughs> Select time. was going to turn out as long as it did, or was, I just thought it was going to be sort of a quick background build with a few inch good bits, but always underestimate. I think with the ships it's, it's always a given, with those like they, you know what you're getting yourself in for, you've got some like very tricky pieces to put together, but you know it's going to be essential to keep the ship all intact and, and feeling and looking nice so you give it a little bit of extra time but with these sort of ones where I always go by price for some reason but the 
this. I don't know, missing something there. This didn't seem like for the price it was going to take as long to build, which is a bonus really for sleeping and having something to relax, do whilst watching and, and then zoning out throughout the build. So that point of view, that's its benefit. Oh dear, Fred's pretty around the wrong way. Okay, I did say I'd switch it over to the other side from the other one. Gosh, that feels like it shouldn't be lifted up. sets I really want to just do a ship and then at the end of it see if we can get it to float as well make the hole really nice and um, bath worthy shall we say <laughs> see how we get on I feel like that'd be pretty fun but it doesn't have to be like an old sailing ship it could be like a modern tanker or something like that with Lego people on it or just do the castle I don't know what it is I just like building those things and then putting it to the test if that makes sense okay so I think that's just the hand for one then we do the arm for the other top but I did notice in the Lego shop there was uh, a ship like a tanker on there and I, I looked at it and thought hmm, 
if I see any comments about it, um, then I'll probably consider it for variety's sake, shall we say, <laughs> and see what we can do. Okay, so you go like that, and then you go like that. It's looking good. And then over the top. And we put two on there. We're so close. <laughs> and then, oh, and then there's stickers to do. But like I said, as I so grace, gracefully boosted, how good I was at it. I'm pretty good at it now. Yeah, there we go. to be right that's uh, <laughs> that makes sense I was getting slightly concerned there only a little but there was quite a lot and an arch which I find rather peculiar uh, that goes across there okay that's right and uh, a single piece assume that Indiana Jones is on this statue so why don't we get him and uh, somehow he's sort of on the side there somehow I don't know how but he just is so or is it this side maybe it's this side I wish he could lean back so in the picture his whips on the other side even though he was on the other side earlier so so that's pretty awesome because you can actually wind the whip around whatever. So that's great. I do love that. Okay, so we've got to give Indian action pose there. Yeah, I think that's sort of Indiana Jonesy enough. <laughs> so he's going to be leaning against that and pushing it back. So maybe he's actually got to be about here. sense that looks good so Indy's pushing that down even though I feel like he should be holding the grill this temple looks so good there's so many cool spots that you can uh, place everyone <laughs> okay so whoa steady on Indy helps if I probably uh, put that in properly so if you'd like to focus on uh, yeah there he is and we'll just show you the mechanism right now so in a nice relaxed style, okay. Indus knocked it down, okay. So now, which way is he going? 
He's gonna stand here with Marion. Marion's over here. Indus disappeared. If we're gonna retrieve the thing. So Marion's standing over here, I assume. in Fred said right okay I mean I haven't really uh, like I like the functionality of it but for me it's all about the sleeping and the building and the relaxing and then the showing of making like a cool scene so in my scene Marion hasn't made her way down yet so thank you Marion you are really cool all I could hear is a uh, uh, sort of cry thing she makes but we want the, we want the grail. So Sala and Indy are definitely uh, gonna have to be holding that above their heads. Can that be done? No, but can they lift it either side? Yes, they can. Perfect. There's one, there's two, that's so good. <laughs> that's cool, I really like that. Although Indy, you're gonna have to leave your whip out of it a bit. Is that gonna go in there with the satchel? We'll put that behind it. I still can't get over how good his hair is, like and how good the Indiana Jones figure is. If you haven't got him yet, seriously, you gotta consider it. Like he's freaking awesome. <laughs> like he's so good. Yeah, your hands need to go down either side. Let's move the satchel a bit. Cause you're gonna be carrying the grail as well. And we all know the music as well. <laughs> and you're going to be moving it back. So they're going to be moving that as well. Okay. If you can do that, can you do that? I don't know. It's uh, kind of tricky when you got hands which are too big for this sort of thing. Okay. And now they're walking back. <laughs> Honestly, I love this set so much. There's so many cool things. Even like the wall at the back with all the detail there, that's really cool. Like even building that coming together was really nice. And the details on there, the, was it hieroglyphs, hieroglyphic, no, I can't remember. Or I can't pronounce it rather. <laughs> I don't, I don't agree, no, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> Just stop there, Fred. <laughs> okay, with all the details there on the walls, which are really nice. and. Like, what would have been awesome, which probably would have made it way too expensive, but if you had, like, the whole here for them, the hatchway for them to come down, get that open from that side, had half of the other half of the ceiling, and then just had this as a wall so you could sort of see it, then you could have probably, like, played around with some really cool lighting on that and displayed it really well. It, it sort of looks like it's a slightly incomplete thing that's the only issue that i have with these types of sets is that it looks like it's incomplete but obviously these sets are more for like people who actually play with them and uh, use lego for that um i wouldn't say it's so much as an amazing display one it would look really cool on display but it's the fact for me it looks like it's missing those pieces there's a lot of like stuff that's on show here um, but if you get the angle right, like with the statues, and they sort of glisten and they gleam under lighting, and you've got the grill there as well, and Salon Indy, with the minifigures there, it is a pretty amazing set. And as my first Indiana Jones set, I thought this was awesome. And I like that we've, I think we've done Harry Potter one. Do we do two or one? We did the Night Bus, that's for sure. I'd be very tempted to get uh, something from Hogwarts or Diagon Alley um, from those sets or the Quidditch ones. There's some really cool sets. Jurassic Park, very much interested in. I keep looking at that. Titanic, very much look, looking at that all the time. Hogwarts Express, looking at that. So yeah, I go in the Lego shop pretty often to see what they built and see what's you know, come out, which is new. Um, the Clone Wars Walker. Yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of Clone Wars, I suppose, but, uh, yeah, and Barnes in Lego City would be pretty awesome as well. But, yeah, let's just do this one more time. 
Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. There's a there's a mummy. <laughs> and and of course there's a snake which comes out of the end here. Oh there you go. <laughs> well done, Fred. So I hope you've enjoyed this Lego build. It's been a very cool one. The figures are really cool. It's just been visually uh, awesome for me. And uh, I've really loved seeing all these new things here. It's just literally returning back to a time where you're literally, you're just building and enjoying it and uh, feeling relaxed. So hopefully you've got that with this. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave all your suggestions for next Lego builds. Take care of yourself. Cheerio.